So notice they intersect like that. That's what I want. OK, so now we connected them. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is, let's see. In this middle space, I'm going to create like some graph paper effect. Uh, so if I only want to change the color in the middle, we're going to use the lasso tool. I'm going to use magnetic lasso. And basically, I'm just going to go along the letters and select. this space right here that I formed with the triangles. I'm going to follow it along. If I was to do this again, I'd probably make sure that all the letters are connected so I don't have those gaps that you see. Okay, so I now selected it. Whenever you make a selection, if you spend time making a selection like that, you should go in and save your selection because you never know if you might need it again. Let me just put try because it's like a triangle. So I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to add something into that uh, space. So go ahead and just adjust the settings to how you want it to be for your uh, style. So if I go blend mode multiply, opacity 100, pattern overlay, opacity 100, scale maybe 4 to 500 with a blend mode of normal or you can choose multiply, then you'll get this effect with the grid. Okay, so now we got that effect there. Okay, hit command, I can hit command D to deselect. Now I want to make it the shape of like a CD cover, like a square that maybe this would be in. So I'm going to just try to guess my size for now. You can change that later. So I'm going to go to image, crop. And then I can crop that um, to the area that I want. So now I have like more of a square size if you, if you want to crop it to that. Uh, next, um, for our background, we want to put like a grunge gradient look to it. If you look on the link uh, that I showed you, you or you could look up, um, there's a lot of open source like gradients that are um, free to use. If, if you go to the directions on the link, there's it's called uh, gradient or grunge background that you can click and use that. So for me, so I'm going to take my uh, what I'm going to do is take my grunge background, uh, drag it into my work, and I'm I'm going to rotate it, Command T, and I'm going to rotate it over. Hit Command T. I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. Um, now this should be on the top layer. I'm gonna call this uh, grunge back or grunge or texture, grunge texture. So for my grunge texture, obviously we can't see the work that we just made, right? Um, you see this? It says normal right here. If we change this normal to multiply, watch what happens. It automatically like finds a good balance between what's behind it and like blends it well together. So you'll notice that it's that texture that we used is now blended with our design in a kind of a grungy cool look to it. Um, what I can do now is like for a CD, I want you to I want you to place your picture in there. Uh, for me, um, I went ahead and got a picture. 
This is a picture I got a couple years ago. Okay, I'm gonna drag my picture in. Uh, my CD work, Command T to transform it. So I'm gonna make it uh, bigger. So you can see who it is. I can like rotate it a little bit if I want. So I can pop in all the corner. Kind of like that. Uh, you can either you can either leave it like that if you want yourself to like be visible. If you don't, you can go to like you can use a uh, filter and then choosing the effect that one that you want to have. Um, I kind of like this since it's black and white anyway. Um, I'm gonna use the stamp. Kind of looks like a stamp <laughs> that you have on a postcard or something. Um, so it's kind of like that. So it kind of matches with the grunge look. If I want to bring it back, notice that that's not any good, right? Because it's kind of scratching over me. So what do you th tool should I use right now? Because basically I want this grunge stuff to be over my like clothes but not my face because that's not a very good appearance for your face. What tool should I use to get rid of that? Eraser tool. E. Click on eraser tool. And then just go ahead and... Like soften it, your hardness, like don't have it very hard, maybe 20%, make it a little bit bigger. And basically, oh, don't do that. Make sure you select the grunge texture because we want to erase some of that grunge that's on my face so I can actually see who I am. Okay. And notice now it's really, really bright. If I didn't want it like that, what I could have done was go up to your opacity up here and then change your opacity maybe to like 50%. So when I hit the eraser, it's not going to be a full erase. It's only going to erase 50%. It's like an opacity. So I can erase it more. Okay. So now I got myself there. I can just do random stuff like that. Um, I do want to show you the brush tool. If you go on the left side, B or brush, Let's see, B right here, brush tool. You guys, and if you go on your brush options up here and you click on this little arrow and choose like wet media brushes. And now we get all these like grunge style brushes that we can use. So you can choose the one that you want. And I'm gonna choose like the splotchy one. And then I can make it really big. So now if I want to change the color, um, I can like add these splotches in here if I want it. And then I can change my opacity down so it's not so bright. Of, um, when you do your splotches for your brush, create a new layer for that so that you can control uh, what you can do with that. So I'm going to choose this splotch actually. I'm going to do some splotches. And I can take my opacity and then make it blend in kind of more so it's not so obvious. So I have my like album or song title name, Foundry. And then I can put like Mr. H if I want my text for my the artist. And I can change like the style of the font and all that stuff. And I can move that in the background so it's not so obvious. And then there we go. So we met the requirements. We have the artist name, we have the artist photo, we have the song or album name, and then we have kind of like a design, um, like a grungier thing. One thing it may may add to it is if you add like a guitar or some image, maybe on the left side in this corner here, it may add to it. Uh, that would be nice effect or accent to your CD cover. But yeah, so using. Photoshop's various tools and your creativity, we could create your CD cover.